Hey, I'm Jay Ray from Jay Ray's Kitchen and the Jay Ray Channel. And today, I've got a little surprise for you. Universal Yums. Don't know what that is? Well, I didn't either until my girlfriend got it for me. Apparently, this little box contains snacks from all over the world. And we're gonna try them today. So Universal Yums is a monthly subscription. This was for the month of March. And in the month of March, we visited the country of Belgium. So there's information in this book about all the snacks from Belgium that are in this box, including nutritional facts. Now there's also a survey inside the box. As you go along and try each snack out, you can put a little sticker next to it or even jot down a note and remind yourself which ones you like and which ones you don't. Keep the survey for yourself. It's a fun adventure. So the first snack we're gonna try from this box, Le Crispier Francois Bretts. Chips. And I don't know what kind of sauce this is. Oh, it says Andalusian sauce. I haven't seen that at Walmart yet. Let's try them out. Smells about like our potato chips. Get one more in there so I can get a real good idea of what's going on here. It's pretty good. Not overwhelming flavor. Never had that flavor before, but I like it. So on this card, it has a place for you to rate chips. I want to give it a happy face. Now we also have, so I'm waiting for the dessert for the end. We have noble savory Gouda cheese and ham flavored baked snack. How you bake ham into a snack, I don't know. I can definitely smell the ham. Mm. This would go good on a salad. I can definitely taste the ham in there. How do you get ham? into a cracker. You've ever had like a cheese biscuit? That's about what this is like. It's almost almost has a taste of a rich cracker. A little bit softer, but with a ham flavor. We'll go with that's very good. Like I say, it'd be a good topping for a salad. Alright. What do we have next? It's all pretty much chocolates and candies. We'll try this. The next thing I'm gonna try is a cranberry rye cake made by Vondel Mullen. Yeah, hadn't seen that at the gas station. Let's see how I can get into this. Very thick consistency. Got some cranberry in there. Let's try it and see how it tastes. Mm. A little dry, a little dry. Tastes healthy. I'll just give it a straight smile face. You know, kind of like the not mad, not sad happy. Moving on, looks like we've got Jacopa Violet Gummies. Artificially flavored gummy snacks. And artificial flavoring is violet. 
thought that was a color and a flower. But hey, we'll give it a try. This kind of looks like the gummy bottoms I give my kids. Actually, just like them. Violet tastes like. Yeah, I might not get any more of those. But it's okay. It's okay. It's not terrible. I'm just not a big like sugary candy eater. So maybe other people might like it more. As far as rating that one goes, I hope nobody in Belgium is watching because Me personally, I'm gonna say this is a no. No offense, guys, but your gummy snacks are a little bit on the twangy side. Try some orange or watermelon or anything but violet. All right, let's move on to the candy. Raspberry ganache dark chocolate. It's a unique Belgian chocolate called Caché. Let's give old Caché a try. It's gonna open it from one end. Yeah, we'll just open the whole thing. This might be a golden ticket to Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Okay. Look at that. A gold bar. Big chunk of chocolate right there. I'm making a huge mess. Alright. So you can see it's kind of got. I have to look closely, but it's got kind of a different color filling. Let's give it a try and see how it tastes. <laughs> Okay now. Belgium, I think I found your uh, your sweet spot. You guys know how to do chocolate. So I'm definitely gonna give that one a Belgium yum. Right there. Me likey. So if that was that good, then I can only imagine how the Belgian creme brulee must taste. This kind of looks like the highlight of the box right here. We're about to find out. Looks like the cream brulee turned into the melted brulee, but we're gonna try it anyway. So under normal circumstances, I would say there would be four round candies in here. Um, I don't have four round candies at this point, but I can definitely still taste what might have been there. Put this over the box. I think I'm gonna make a mess. Yep, they melted. Big time. Yep, that's what was left of it. But we'll give it a try anyways. Wow. Oh my goodness. So full of flavor, very sweet, very rich. That is awesome. I can only imagine what it would taste like when it was not in a melted form. 
It's just so rich and flavorful. Oh, that's definitely, that was the highlight of that box. That's a good creme brulee. And I'm not a creme brulee expert, but if I was gonna try a creme brulee, that would be the one to try. Very excellent. So I would definitely have to go with the smiley face with the heart eyes, because that was amazing. Definitely love that. I think my favorite would have to be the creme brulee. The worst, I would, I would probably go with the uh, violet flavored gummy snacks. And the weirdest, I would go with the cranberry rye bread. Just, I don't know, kind of dry, kind of bleh. But overall, it's definitely fun to try out food from another country. So I don't know what's up in store for April on the subscription list, but I'm sure it's going to be good and I'm looking forward to trying it. You guys at home, you should try Universal Yums. Get a subscription today. I don't get no money from it, but you'll get a lot of enjoyment from it. See you next time on J-Ray's Kitchen and the J-Ray Channel. Okay, so the first... Alright. Is it still going? No. Alright.